Number 15 is a trinomial. There's no GCF. So we want multiples of 24. That will add up to negative 10. Okay, when this is negative and this is positive, we need both of them to be negative. So make sure you're careful with what you're picking. We need the x minus 4 and the x minus 6. You cannot do 2 and 12 because then one of them would be negative and that would give you negative 24 when you multiply them together. 16, 1 times 9 is 9. Everything's positive, so we'll pick 1 and 9. So this is x plus 1 and x plus 9, right? We can use the shortcut because these two have 1s in front. Number 17, there is no GCF. So 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. We want the larger number to be positive. So here's our pair. Now we need to rewrite this and we need to factor this by grouping. So this is going to turn into a 12x squared minus 2x plus 6x minus 1. So here we have a GCF of 2x. Over here we have a GCF of 1. So we'll have 2x plus 1 and 6x minus 1. And that will be our answer there. 18 is a special case. Okay, no GCF, but 9 times 9 is 81. 2 times 2 is 4, and half of the exponent is x to the first power. So we will get a 2x plus 9 and a 2x minus 9. Number 19 is also a special case. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25. Half the x plus x. 11 times 11 is 121 with a y. So we'll have 11y plus 5x and 11y minus 5x. Remember, it doesn't matter whether you put the subtraction or addition first or second. You just need both of them. 20, which polynomial is prime, right? Prime means that it cannot be factored. So if we sort of go down the list here, 4, we can pick sets of negative 2 and negative 2. That will add up to negative 4. Okay, negative 24, we can pick a set of um, negative 6 and positive 4. 7 only has a set of 7 and 1, so there's nothing that will give us 6. Right, 2 would give us 3 and 1, 2 times 1 would give us 3. Number 21, um, a correlation coefficient is always between negative 1 and 1. 22, which of the following uh, statements shows, shows a causation and not a correlation, right? Causation is a direct cause and effect. So A, if you eat a lot of food, you will get fat. That is not necessarily the case. You could exercise a lot. Uh, B, Joe jumped in the pool and got wet, right? The pool is causing Joe to get wet, so there's cause and effect. If you study, you will get an A, not necessarily true. We have probably all studied for something and it not gone the way we had hoped. 23, what makes something a random sample? Okay, random is any time that someone, um, everyone, I guess, has a fair chance of getting picked. This is going to be like a number generator, um, drawing names from a hat. Okay, there's our random sample. 24 is going uphill, so that would be a positive correlation. 25, square roots already match, so we're just going to subtract the coefficients in front, and we'll get 6 square root 7. 26, the square roots do not match, so we need to simplify and see if we can get them to match. So this becomes 3 square root 7, but we already have the 4 out in front, so we'll have a 12 square root 7 plus an 8 square root 7 which will give us a 20 square root seven. For page three, watch the next video.